Playing games every day, get set to watch Zenvius. G'day all, I'm Zenvius and we're playing Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. And I was seeing this game on Twitter. There's a lot of activity about it, people saying it's a very beautiful game. And I had no idea what this was about, so I did some investigation and apparently it's a game about madness. And in a Nordic mythology, now I, I love the Nordic, I love Thor, I love Odin, and my, my dog is named Loki, so there's a bit of an example of how much I love the Nordic. But other than that, madness is something I'm kind of connected to, because I go through it on myself on a daily basis. And I understand this game was actually made by psychologists, or at least they advised, so that got me curious. So I thought, let's dive in, let's see if we can discover what psychologists can influence to make a game better? I understand sort of a horror action thing. It's not a survival high, survival, horror survival, but yeah, let's get into it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Welcome. Hello. You are safe with me. Oh, well, that's nice. I'll be right here, nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Okay. Let me tell you about Senua. So you're not Senua. Okay. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins a new. Yeah, I'm not sure if this game was made by the people who did Gods of the God of War. What's happening? I I don't think they did. I think I'm only confusing it because the latest God of War is going Nordic. I don't know. She's getting closer. He can feel her coming. Oh, we're getting some whispers. They know you're here. They're watching. Okay. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. All right. Why is she doing this? They're watching. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. can feel you coming. Interesting enough, the subtitles aren't catching the other voices, so that may, oh, how rude of me. may lead a clue. I never told you of the others. Oh, the mental health advisor, there you go. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Mm -hmm. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. Atmosphere is beautiful. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Like the lighting is affecting the quality of the commentary, the vi. The, it's, you can see the silhouette, so you know what's happening, like the hanging bodies in the background. There's a real aura of creepiness here. Up ahead. You see it too? You promised you came Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. Hell in the Nordic mythology, if I recall, it's it is it's it's a punishment. It's an underworld. It's a place of the afterlife. Go back, go back, go but back, unlike back. the Christian hell, which is fire, I'm fairly sure the Nordic hell is ice. I think I could be incorrect on that. I I learn so much. One thing can be another thing. If you know, put it in the comments below. I want to know what the Nordic underworld actually was. So I think there was multiple layers, like the Yag Yag Yadagrasil, the Tree of Life, the drought, and just the worlds on worlds. Yeah, they lie rotting in the fields and rivers. Yeah, this atmosphere is really beautiful. Oh, creepy as heck, and you know, still here. spooky. I don't, I don't seem to be afflicted by by horror as much as most people. I just, yeah, whatever. Moving on. I sort of chalk it up to my own mental demons that, you know, believe me, if, if there's there's not much more that can scare me than what goes on in my own brain. They're watching. Kind of the, the shining can silver lining of being depressed, trust me. I'm not scared of anything. There's nothing that can scare me worse than what I can do to myself. Where are we? You're so close. I know we're still just rolling credits, but I'm I'm fixated on this. Got some impalement. This could be Vlad the Impaler's doing. What is she Although thinking? he had nothing to do with the Nordic, I don't think. I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? Well, you're not skipping this, by the way. I'm, I'm sticking to this. This is really lovely visual. I know, after so many years. Okay. But the darkness. It just 
builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. It's always there, just out of sight. At this pace, the first episode is literally going to be us just watching the introduction. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see it suffocate. Ah, oh, there's actually a, there's a lot of bodies. Well, if this is hell, I guess that's where all the bodies would go. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far, far deeper. Well, in a world where the afterlife is existent, death is not anything to be feared. Uh, looks like we're about to start gameplay. Let's see where we go from here. I know I'm so cheery, I'm just fascinated by this. I'm not a morbid person at all, but the, I, I, I do love atmosphere. Stories that build up and just draw you in and make you wonder, ooh, what's going to happen next? Those are the tales I enjoy. All right. What is she looking at? not too late to get into the boat and go back. Hard to tell what her age of the character is. No one will ever know. She could actually be like oh, a teen. But she could also be a woman. There's no going back. Hard to pick the exact age. Oh. Oh. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to. He's burning no bridges. To to. Only one way now. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. This is mental health is it is actually acknowledging I am actually playing because I think it's talking directly to me. But we're in game now. Mouse move. Oh, hi. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. I, I am using my eyes. I'm like right up against it. Do I have to lick it? What do I do? Well, what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm here. What's what's the plan here, people? What's the play? Mm, I'm meant to do something, but nothing's happening. Alright, let's go through the usual. And the movement keys do nothing. Space is nothing. Shift is nothing. Uh, nope. Alright, well, we'll come back to that later then. Oh well. What do we got here? Some palisades. Although they're going... Where are these things pointing? That's a pick. I could go that. No, I don't think I can go that way. Can I just... Oh, just easy. No, no, jump. Just push forward. Walk over. Oh. Oh, wow. Things have gotten darker. And they are getting darker. Okay, we've got a sudden storm. Because the tutorial hasn't taught me what the run button is. Do I hold shift to run? Oh, oh, sh uh, shift to run. Okay. More of a meander and a uh, fast-paced jog. But she's not stopping. Nope. Oh well, she she got rid of the boat. It's the one way we go. Oh. That light seems to be adjusting. Huh. Fascinating. Can you see it? The land of mist and fog. He's in there. The old fool was right. You see it? What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. You 
What's in the bag? That's a very head-shaped bag you got there. Okay. What does it say? There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. I'm actually unfamiliar with Hela. Is that actually the extended version of Hell? Because Hell I isn't just the name of the underworld, yeah, yeah. but it was also the goddess who ruled and controlled the underworld about my beloved Dylan. Maybe this is a love story. That, that'd be nice. Why is she doing this? I don't want to just... Oh, I thought that was water. Oh, sometimes people need to mourn in their own way. Well, that makes sense. Bridge to Helheim. Where are we? I forget its name. Am I meant to get up there? Yeah, I'm going this way. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. Ah, there's a path. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. It's not that hidden. See. It's literally in my in front of me. Oh, there's another one of these things. I'm assuming. These are checkpoints. I don't do anything with it. No, okay. All right. Moving on then. This would be the path. This very well-concealed stairwell. All right, how do I, how do I climb? Okay. It's part of my madness trying to figure out what are my controls. Okay, you know what? Let's see, controls. What have we got here? Move forward, move back, straight left, straight left. Focus to E. Oh, is that what you were saying? By that, evade, inter... Interact is F? When has interact ever been F? All right, well, let me try the focus back on that thing, because they were saying I have to focus when I look at these things. Not exactly the greatest tutorial, but, eh, controls don't seem too complicated. Ah, oh, there we are, we focus. Do not forget my story, oh. Sinua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. Okay. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. Cremation, yes. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. All right. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. Okay. The path to Helheim goes from there. Okay. Across the river of knives that flows from the dark This world feels very long. much like what the Dante's Inferno game was about, which was about a guy going through the stages of hell to reclaim the soul of his beloved. It may be. It may be very similar. Except that was Christian mythology, so this was Nordic. Never actually played that. I, I know of it. I ne just never got around to it. Just one of the many games that I never ticked on my list. It's very pretty, there's no doubt of that. That was what got my attention. A lot of people were commenting on the visuals of this game, and yeah. Yeah, no, this is a very attractive game. It, it feels very Tomb Raider. Possibly because it's a female protagonist, possibly because there's a sense of ruination. You should be scared. But the, the voices in my head, they're, they're an interesting touch. Nothing concerning, nothing too distracting. All right, interact. Easy. All right. Why did she do that? She can't go back now. Well, no, I got rid of the boat. Of course I couldn't back. I've already given up on going back. It'd be great if that was the game, you know. Five minutes in. Do you want to continue? No. Game over. Roll credits. Hello. This is a pretty door. Now, this is where they said only the dead can pass, right? Okay. I have noticed something that moving the mouse it does sort of reset your vision while moving. So you can only really look at him when you're staying still. It's dangerous, touch it. <laughs> Rather contradictory. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. 
I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'll never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? Who are you? Is that you around you now? For my tales of the Northmen, they call me Druth. Ah! Liar. The old fool. An old fool. <laughs> the gentleman who gave me the guidance here. Truth is my truth. And that rhymes half the time. You kept your vow. In this life and the next, I will tell you my stories of hell. If I may walk with you. Sure, I can appreciate the company. Tell me your stories again, older friend. I'm listening. Where do we go from here? Seal the gates to hell. Okay. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Now, I've learned focusing is the E button. I can see Come on. Hold it in your mind. All right. It's a ruin. Find one like it to open the gate. That's R U N E, not R I. -N. And holding your minds in the what am I doing? Holding Just holding E. That, that is literally all I'm doing. What am I doing? I don't I don't get it. Alright, that was alright, let's check these controls again. Let's see. Focus is E. Change target left. In the controls. Now we'll try it again. Alright, we focus. Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm sort of seeing a very vague silhouette. And I've got to line it up, I'm guessing. Is that the plan? I'm seeing this. This is just confusing. Alright. All right, we move in close. We get the symbol. That does nothing. Okay. I am curiously confused by all of this. They seem to be holding this symbol everywhere I'm going. If I let go of E, it goes with me. It's near. Ah, oh, so I meant to keep looking until I find the thing. Is that the plan? Let's see. Focus until I find it. That seemed to just dissolve. All right, so. The, the, the secret. What am I? I, I am really confuzzled here. I, because I, you can see that silhouette too. Oh, hang on, I see it. I see it. It's on the wall. It's, it's the shadow of the light. I see it. So that. Now what do I do? But I'm there. What am I meant to do? Am I meant to focus with it? Oh, there we go. And the gate will open. Not a bad puzzle. Alright, well, so that should do it. Alright, back to the gate. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. Alright. Dangerous. Go going going through the gate. The Hellheim! It worked. Huh. Odd design. I Curious. Spent six years enslaved in hell. Yeah. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen. When everyone else laughed, my people pay the heavy price. Ah, down the ladder. I carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. So it's a vengeance story. As well as a love story? I'm not sure. But the weather is definitely changing a lot here. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Okay. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. Okay. Well, look, you know what? We're just going to get over that waterfall, and we're going to leave it here for this episode. We're, oh, that was something. 
a few things. Or is that just uh, glitches? Who knows? We're going to leave it here for this episode, and we will come back to it in the next one as we continue to discover the mystery of this madness. Please share this video if you care to help this channel grow. I'll talk to you then. Until then, I'm Zenvius, and you can enjoy your day.